I always knew I was gay. Like, I came out of the womb knowing I was gay. I'm Sam Arpino. My name is Calvin Stoll. My name is Shay Smith. My name is Eliza Enriquez. I came out when I was 13. I came out when I was 19 years old. I came out when I was 19 years old. I came out when I was 15. I was brought out of the closet. I was at an all-women's college, very stereotypical, and a friend of mine told me that a girl was into me, and I was just like, cool, and so I dated her. I had a Zac Efron cardboard cutout that I like hid in my closet that my mom found. I came out to my best friend from high school um, first about this relationship I was having. So I always knew, but I never wanted to come out. I moved to New York City, and I met this guy, and I had put on Facebook that I was in a relationship, but I didn't say with who. My family was a little bit more difficult. Um, my family, you know, black family doesn't really want to talk about it. So at the Thanksgiving dinner, everyone in my family is there, like my entire family, and my mom is like, so who are you dating? Like, what's her name? And I'm like, I don't want to say anything. I'm not going to get in this with you, mom. And I just remember like throwing my face down in my food. I remember screaming, like picking my face up from my plate and screaming like, I'm gay! And I just ran up to my room and I locked myself in my room and I cried for hours and hours and hours. A lot of them have come around, um, but that was, that took a little bit more time and was harder to do. My mom came up shortly after and she sat down with me and she was like, honey, like we knew you were gay. Like we can see and we can hear, we knew you were gay. When I was 11, I had my first girlfriend, or. I wouldn't call it a girlfriend, I had my first girl experience. I fell in love with my best friend and I was lucky because she fell in love with me too, but I mean, how could you not? I was lucky enough to be in Brooklyn and doing this in a, in a more liberal area, in a place where a lot of people still love me and didn't judge me. I went throughout high school um, identifying as lesbian and I always knew there was something kind of off about that. For me, the approach I took to come out was to be unapologetically myself. And I did that by wearing a rainbow belt to school, the first day of high school. And when I was in college, I uh, met somebody who was trans. Uh, and at the time, it was like 2005, no one was really talking about being queer. We didn't have all the social medias that we have today. And it was really weird, it was really hard. And as college progressed, I kind of learned that I identified as trans, but I didn't identify necessarily as fully male or fully female. And then I came out to my parents, and my friends were all there for me. I think more important than that, what I learned when coming out was that you come out multiple times in your life. You don't come out just once. If you're struggling with um, coming out, I think definitely find somebody who you know is like a safe person to come out to first. Everything that happens after will get better. I know it's a very stereotypical thing to say, but it does get better and people come around and people love you for who you are. A lot of times we say uh, family is something that you make, not always something that you're given. Being able to kind of explore what I, your identity means to you is totally valid. And deciding not to come out doesn't make you any less queer or any less of a good person. It's really important to find that support from somewhere in your life. So, you know, reach out to people that you trust uh, and you love. People who aren't queer need to meet people who are queer to really, to really get that we're human and to really get that we deserve just as much love as anyone else.